Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we are going to start on another journal today. And I've got this old book cover, and you can see it's falling apart, but we're going to repair it. This was True Women. <laughs> I don't know how old that is. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to repair the spine. Now I have, I'm just putting it back together where it was accidentally cut. It was cut when we was taking the pages out of it and I just put that back together with a little piece of washi but to ensure that this stays together what we're going to use is some Tyvek tape now I normally use Tyvek envelopes that I get through the mail but I'm completely out of those so I have this Tyvek tape I'll probably have to put a couple of strips on it but this stuff will not tear it's very um, sturdy and it's very sticky so when you put this down on there it's going to hold and then we're going to cover this with fabric and all of that kind of stuff so this is not going to show okay I'm going to get another piece now the Tyvek envelopes you have to glue this is self-adhesive but boy it's so sticky to get it started on the roll is a chore. I usually put something under there, but I didn't when I tore that other one. Now I wish I had. Okay, and I'm going to cut that bad part off of there. So see, it sticks to everything. All right, we'll cut it right there. But I'm going to try to flip this around where it stays on there, like it's supposed to do. We'll just trim the bad parts of that off, but this is going to repair that spine. And we're going to do a hidden spine, so I'll need to cut me some chipboard here in a minute and of course this this video will take more than one video as you know doing a journal you can't I can't do it all in one video not a, a big journal like this this one's gonna have at least two signatures in it it may have three I don't know I haven't decided yet it'll depend on what I want to try to put in there and then going to get those little strings off of there and I'm going to put some on this side too that's just going to ensure that nothing is going to tear the spine apart okay that looks like a good piece right there because this is very brittle I don't know how old this book is I don't remember But this is some good stuff right here. Oh, see it sticks to my finger and I can't t get it to turn loose. And I think you, I'm pretty sure you can buy this on Amazon. If I can find a link, I'll link it for you. Whoops. Now, if you don't have Tyvek tape or you don't have a Tyvek envelope, you can use uh, packing tape, shipping tape, the big wide shipping tape. You can use that or you can just use fabric or something. Just anything that will put some strength back in your spine so that it's not going to tear when you make your journal. Right, got that trimmed off. Okay, so there is our spine all repaired. And now I need to cut a piece of chipboard or thin chipboard. It can be a cereal box or something like that. That is the width of my spine. So let me measure that. It is. Let's 
looks like it is one and five eighths no one and three eighths so one and three eighths by uh nine and three eighths all right I'm gonna write that down because I'll forget by the time I go get my chipboard. All right, let's see if I got it cut right. I went ahead and cut it over on my big guillotine trimmer. All right, you just don't want it to interfere with your sides folding up and it doesn't, so that looks like the right size. All right, I'm gonna put a piece of fabric on this since this is gonna be a hidden spine. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of fabric and that even though that's the selvage it doesn't look very straight does it it doesn't have to be straight don't don't think that it does it's just I'd like to have it a little bit straighter than than crooked and this is just a I don't know somebody tell me what this is it's like canvas almost it's pretty thick We probably don't need it that wide, but I'm going to leave it that wide. That'll give us extra support. And then I'll put something over this because I'm going to cover these. Okay. So then I need to cut it off. Right there. Now everybody makes... Their hidden spine's a little bit different. It kind of depends on what journal you're putting it in. Since this little spine was so torn up, this is what I'm doing to give just extra strength, extra support. So that would glue down like that. And this, is, this would be under it, glued to it. So we're going to glue it down, and it doesn't matter what side. I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to try to glue it pretty close to the center, but like I said, it's not a big deal if you don't get it that, that centered up. And I am going to use some PVA glue. You can use whatever glue you have on hand. That's a good strong glue. I just like my PVA glue when it comes to gluing chipboard and things to fabric dries pretty fast plus it's, it holds really well. I wish we could find PVA glue to get again. I would definitely start back carrying it but it's hard to get our hands on. Okay that's probably going to be enough right there. Then you're just going to stick it down on that fabric. I'm just going to flip it over and kind of rub it down so there's no wrinkles or anything like that in the spine part. You could have ironed your piece of fabric and it would have probably come out a lot better. But this is fine with me. As long as we can get it glued down, I'm not going to worry. Okay. Now, what we'll do is set this aside, because this really needs to dry real well, and I'll set it aside for the night and just let it dry. I was just checking to make sure I had about the same amount on both sides. So I'll lay that aside, and I'm going to go and get my brush in a little bit of water. So let me do that. Okay, got my brush in some water, and I've got a kit here. This is the kit that I'm going to use now. I know it's got the little turtle doves and the hearts. This is Betty's, oh, I think it's called Kisses. I'll look it up and link it below. But I printed it out because it can be used for other things besides Valentine's Day. It's really pretty. I went ahead and printed on the back. So it's not a real, you know, ushy gushy Valentine love the roses in it and this is the main kit that we're going to use and then we're going to add a bunch of extras let's well, see that one says saint valentine greeting but 
you know, who cares? I just think it's pretty. Very pretty, Betty. So, look, I think there's 14 pages, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my pages out to two signatures. I think two signatures is going to be good because I make my signatures kind of thick. So I think two will work. So now this is just my process. If this is, you know, something that you're not interested in, that's fine. I know there's a lot of people that have asked me to Please do a process video on how I kind of began a journal. And this is just the way I do it. Now my my prints are just printed on, when I print the pages, I just print them on regular 20 pound cardstock. And it's HP. But when I print my pockets and things like that, I usually print it on something thicker, like a 32 pound. Okay, so that'll be my two signatures. Now we need to add different pages to it. So I definitely want to add a sheet of this handcrafted paper. I also want to add some of the uh, 1859 book page that I got from Katie. I am going to open this up. This is Flower Patch from Triple V Vintage. I'll put their link below. Excuse the crinkling. I want to add maybe two of these to each one. Now one of those and then I'll get a different, a different kind. Okay, this one's called Rounded Corners and it's from Triple V Vintage. Thank you, Veronica. I love my papers. Let's see. Let's add. Maybe that one. Yeah, let's add that one to that. I'm also going to add some straw paper. And my straw paper came from Rachel. Roxy's Creation. That's where I buy it. Now I'm going to add... A couple of these pages, but I'll need to print on the other side, so I'm not going to fold these. And I think these are from Lynn Art Designs on Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. There's not a name on them, and I did them last year, so not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. I think I'll do this one and that one. I go through all of my cabinets and drawers and everything and I pull out just as much as I think I'm going to use and really I pull out a whole lot more. So I've got some vellum and I'm going to put a piece of vellum in each one. Now if you don't have this you can just add your pages, your digital pages and leave it at that. You don't have to add all of this that I'm doing. This is just things that I have in my stash and I like to use in journals. And I thought I might pull out a Tim Holtz vellum piece or two. Somebody asked, could we get this back in? We have been trying. It's been on back order. So I'm hoping that soon we'll be able to get it back in. But um, we're just having to kind of wait on them it's it's been a mess this year trying to get digital I'm trying to get uh, Tim Holtz stuff let's see see which one I want I like that one but I don't think this collection's got yellow in it okay I know I'll use this one and I may just tear it in half and use it. I don't know. Let's look. We can use this one. So that would be one for each page. Did I tear that? I sure did. Look at that. It's okay. We'll use it anyway. And then I've got some old vintage songbooks here and just book pages. This is business law. <laughs> 
Yuck. <laughs> this is probably from Melina's business law classes that she did. I don't know. This is an old, old, oldie. So we're going to put one in each one of them. Let's see. Pull one out of here, maybe. These actually don't look as old as some of the other ones that I have, but that's okay. They're old. Okay. So there's two of those. You hear my phone? I'm doing videos, right? Never ending. Okay. Now, let me count and see how many pages we got first before we go too much further. I'd like to have about 20 pages in each signature. Since I'm only putting two. So we'll see what we got. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, I pulled out two. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So let's see if we got seventeen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes. So I need three more for each one. So let me look around and see what else I've got. And we'll add three more in there. Okay, let's see what we might have in here. I might add some of these ledger pages. There's one for that one. One for that one. Now let's not put the same one. Let's do. Let's see. That one. So that's 18 for each. I always like to have the empty ledger pages too because they're good to write on. So there's a 19. 19. And I'm going to print on the back of those too. Okay, I think I will also put a sheet of this old ledger paper that I have yellowed up so that's gonna make 20 now I also want to put a an envelope in each one but I'll grab those later we can add those in at any time so let me grab the sheets that I need to print on the back of all right I'm gonna print on the back of these real quick and we'll come back and start folding our signatures up okay we just print it on the back of those and then I'm gonna have to trim off the edges because since the front side wasn't printed from edge to edge, I didn't print the back side that way either. So I'm going to try to stick them all in here and trim them all at one time. I don't mind these being a little smaller than my other pages. got those trimmed off and I have started folding my first signature and I am just going to grab a page I just pull a page out and fold about what this is my I guess you could call it signature page this is a page that I'm going by to fold so just trying to fold them about that size and then anything that's left over, we'll either trim it off or we'll fold it around and make it a pocket or a tuck or whatever. So. All right, let's see if we can do this straight-ish. Now we know this is going to be too big because this is a 12 by 12 sheet, but we'll either fold it up. We will do something with it. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the way I want it to go. And 
and I just use the same sheet over and over again to get my fold in about right and it doesn't have to be all of them don't have to be the same identical I mean they can be different matter of fact I like them when they're different sizes anyway oh let's see Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm just going to fold this sideways. I don't mind that. I can add pockets and things to it. So, And then I think I'll do this one the same way. Sideways. And then this piece... I'm going to fold it up and then whatever's left, I'm going to make some tucks with that. So let's see what we have and see what we need to fold and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I know these won't have to be folded. This one might. These won't. This is going to fit in the journal right there. So we know we, we, know we need to go by that size. So I kind of put my page on there and then I see it's a little bit long. So I just kind of do it like that and I think I'll just trim those parts off because I don't really need that white edge on there anyway. So I'm just going to tear them. Alright, that page is done. Now this one, I don't want to lose, take that out, I don't want to lose this part, so I'm going to fold this one over. And it'll be a little tuck on there. Another one, and then this one, let's see. All right, we've got quite a bit left over. Let's see what we want to do with it. Do we want to make it a tuck? And it's, well, it's about the right size. I don't think we'll have to cut any off the top of it. We may fold this twice since this is kind of a very thin paper. Fold it twice like that and make that a little side tuck. So there's that one. All right, now these. Let's go ahead and grab our template back out. I don't know what I called that a minute ago, but it sure wasn't template, was it? All right, we've got quite a bit down here at the bottom that we can tear off. So I'm going to tear this off, and I'll use it in a smaller journal or somewhere else. All right, we have that bottom torn off, and I think what I'm going to do with this out here is I'm just going to make a tuck, side tuck. Oh, that'd be cute, wouldn't it, just to make a, have this one where it would open like that. Hmm, might do that. I did my bone folder. Does anybody know? <clears throat> okay, that goes there. Save that one for another little journal and I think this one's going to be about the same tear off a little piece of the bottom so I hope this helps some of you this is a much much requested video I know it's hard sometimes just to get started with a journal once you get started, you can kind of go and, you know, add things and all that. But just getting started sometimes is a chore. Now, if you could see my surroundings, you would know it's a chore for everybody. Because I have to pull out everything that I can see <laughs> in order to, to make a journal. Because I don't know, in the beginning, I don't know what I want to put in there. Let's make sure that nothing... No, nothing's going to be too tall, so we're good there. All right, let's bring this page back, and then there's the envelope that goes in that one. I also thought I would add this little 
This is English Literature History. And I love that it's got this little writing around it. And then, then on the back it has a clear page, so or clean page. So I thought I would add that to each one too. So that's going to be one signature right there. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Now I'm going to do the other one the same way. So if you just want to skip forward and miss all of this, you can. But I'm going to kind of do it the same way. Just start folding my pages up. But Miss Brooklyn was over here today and we went through some um, things that she wanted to know on iMovie. She's starting to get her channel and things lined up. So she had a few questions about iMovie and how you get different things on there. So we went over all of that. And I said, do you think you got it? She said, I think I got it now, Nene. So look out for that little girl. She's probably going to be probably going to be having movies up right and left pretty soon. Well, as soon as her daddy can give her the okay. He's still trying to set her channel where, you know, bad people can't get on it. And, um, of course, he'll he'll monitor it. But, you know, he's, there's just a lot of things he checks into. He He's very particular about his girls. And I'm glad that he is. But he makes sure that, you know, they don't read any books that are inappropriate. That they don't... Um, they can't, they have kids YouTube, they can't go on to real, you know, big, 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 big people's YouTube. Now, when she's over here, I'll let her, if she wants to look at y'all, your, you, if she wants to look at you guys' comments, I will log her in on mine and let her look at the comments, but that's as far as I can go with it, because he does not want her having a regular YouTube channel. He logs them off at, he's got their computer set to where they log off automatically at uh, 10 o'clock at night. So then they can't see anything else from 10 o'clock at night until the next morning. So he's, he's pretty good about keeping them safe. And it's, I tell you, everybody needs to now. It's a wicked world we got out here. All right, let's see. We're going to fold this one. And I don't want to fold it up too much. That should work right there. And then we'll just tear off a little bit. We have some vellum pieces that we can use elsewhere. That one over there, and then we got this one. And I'm just gonna kind of guess it it, I think. A little bit more. There we go. I guess I could go ahead and tear that off before I fold it over, couldn't I? So she wanted to do a live today and answer questions that you guys had left. And I said, well, the thing of it is, I said, number one, we got a storm coming in. So I was kind of afraid to get on a live because you never know how the situation is going to work around here with a live, the internet and things. So I said, two people are still leaving comments. So we probably need to wait a little while and, you know, let everybody get their comments in and then do one. And she said, oh, okay, Nana, that's fine. She's just so excited about it. She said, I saw Mama let me see, and there's so many questions. She's very excited about answering your questions. I said, well, we'll do it. We just got to wait until we got good internet, and then, um, you know, we get everybody's comments in. I said, people are still commenting on your video, so... She said, all right. She's a good girl. I think, let's see, I think we got everything here. That, there's my page. And then there's my envelope. All right, so we've got our envelope. We've got that page, that one, 
that one, that one, and then all of these, I think. Let's see, we need to fold that over. Make a little tuck out of it. If I can fold straight. Okay, so these are our two signatures. And I haven't got them put together yet. I just want to find out what page I want to show at the front. And I'm thinking I want that one to be on the front of this one. And let's see which one we want. I'm thinking I want that one on the front of that one. And then I'll show you, let me go ahead and lay these like this so I'll know which is which. I'll show you what material or what fabric I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be using a lot of lace too. This is the fabric that I'm going to use, and I thought it would go well with this. So this will be our fabric cover, because this book is kind of yuck <laughs> in all directions and I thought well even if that shows through it's not going to be too bad you know so because it's going to be the burgundy anyway so I'm going to use this as a cover and then on the inside of course I'll put some lace on it and that kind of thing then on the inside we need to cover it with something too, and I, I don't know exactly what I'll cover it with yet. We'll put our signatures in, and then after we get them in and, and get our little piece glued down, then we will come back and put paper or material, fabric, whatever, from here out. So, I guess that's going to glue down like that right there after we put our signatures in it. And the reason this is called a hidden spine is we're going to st stitch our signatures to this. And then this is going to get glued down to here. So we'll glue our signatures and this down to here. And then when we get that done, everything will be finished on the inside. You know, then our signatures will be in there and you won't see any kind of stitching or anything out here. The stitching will be here. It'll be hidden in here. And then we will cover all of this with lace and that kind of thing. So let's just lay these in here and see what... I think I want this one to be the back one. And this one will be the front one. Let me get a clip. Clip these together so I don't get them mixed up. So that one will go back there. This one will be the first one that you see. So we'll need something in here that will accent this page and then something back here that will accent whatever page we use on the back and I haven't decided that yet. I'll kind of sort my signatures out tonight and decide which way I want to put them. But that's going to be a nice one. Look at that. That is going to be a very nice one. And once we get our pockets and everything in, it's going to be nice and chunky. And that's what I love. I probably will put, some of these edges are kind of boogered up. So I'll probably put book corners on the edges of these too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we get everything else on there. Okay, I think that is all I'm going to do today. I'll come back probably tomorrow. I'll do a video and I'll show you how we are going to put the signatures in using this hidden spine method and then we'll start putting our paper on the our paper fabric whatever on the outside and then on the inside and we'll start decorating our pages and things all right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button bye bye